Hello Aries, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop here and this is your monthly reading for November. Um, a couple of things before we get started is that if this is your first time here then actually I take a single oracle card and six tarot cards and it's basically the tarot has an opportunity then to give you a message. I say every month um, that basically this is for your sun sign obviously also, it's worth checking out your moon and or your rising because sometimes we're operating more from an emotional point of view and um, or a, a self point of view if it's the rising sign. So it's always worth checking those out too. Secondly, I would like to point out that I am still recovering from quite a nasty cold. So I'm hoping that my voice holds up um, through this month's um, <clears throat> readings and sometimes it, it goes as you can hear. So. But when spirit has work to do, it has work to do. And we have November and we want to know what is going on. Um, we're also in the middle of a storm, which is quite bizarre. So spirit are always very present when these things happen. I think it's something to do with the electrical currents. I'm never quite sure. So assuming all goes well, I'm using the Wiser Tarot here. Pop that to one side. And a brand new deck of oracle cards called the Moonology Messages Oracle from Yasmin Boland. And when I say brand new, they've literally been out a couple of weeks and I actually still have to do the walkthrough and I'm really enjoying them. They're very good. So let's get started with these. <clears throat> I've already sat some time. Um, oops, there we go straight away. I actually felt that that wasn't right. That was basically because I didn't have the heart cards properly. <laughs> let's restart. So Aries for the month of November. What would you like? Aries to know for the month of November. As usual, if you are new, <clears throat> I talk to the cards. So let's see. There we go, and we're going to take now for the month of November. Moon shining. So stay in integrity. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll see in a moment when the tarot cards come through how this is relevant. Let's pop that to one side while we do the tarot for the month of November, Aries. Let's go for the month of November for Aries. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pop the cards to one side. Okay. Just going to spend a moment just looking, see what's going on here. And um, I know that some people watch me doing these readings because you're learning and you want to see how I kind of pull things together. Well, you can see we've got two swords. A major arcana, this is a major arcana, two swords, so there's quite a bit on your mind. And um, we've got also wands, which is about activity, so there's quite a lot going on. So there's a lot going on in physically and in your mind this month. And it's to do with the actualization of an emotional dream, so something that makes you happy, an aspiration, if you like, really. So before we get to that part... You've got the High Priestess at the beginning of the month. So you are actually um, beginning the month quite pleased with yourself. So there's a, there's a reason here or a cause for you to be quite... You've achieved something. This is something you've just completed. It's a physical thing. So it's something you've just done. You've managed to... You know, I can't really think of another way to say it. And it's definitely coming through that it's like an achievement. It's something that you've managed to do, to pull together. And it's over now. So you're able to say... I'm so glad I completed that. And actually, it leads you on to the high priestess. So it says that now that that's done, you're actually able to be in a position for the next phase. It feels as if... Mm, yeah. You're seeking something here. Um, you're seeking the knowledge... You know what this is really, it's, it feels very much like you're looking for answers, deep answers to the meaning of life and all that sort of thing. When the High Priestess comes, it's a very intuitive card. So 
you're actually now this is over this practical side it's like a, it's a spiritual card to be truthful so basically it means about the fact that actually you're looking for answers and again as i said earlier it was to do with happiness so i think you're looking for answers in how you can this you've achieved this thing and you're really happy about it but actually it's because you're you you're looking for the secret source of life if that makes sense to you um a bigger picture type thing so it's along the lines of you're actually well you're looking for happiness emotional contentment happiness a wish coming true dreams um things manifested manifestations could be that you you know you're, well you're basically looking for those sorts of things and it feels as if you, you know spiritually you're looking for the greater purpose because it shouldn't all be about getting through the days and functioning there is a deeper purpose of life and that's about us obviously acquiring spiritual knowledge and you know i'm still obviously working my way through mine so i can't i can't say that i know exactly what it is but it seems to me that actually we're all entitled to happiness and we're entitled to having our dreams and why not there's enough to go around so why not so you go through this piece of when you've done this and um, this phase of actually I finished that now. So now what? Now what? What's going to make me happy? Um, there is actually a situation here at home where you are going to speak your mind. So it's a domestic situation. So when you're in a domestic environment, you're going to have to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. And it's really important. And that's where this comes in. So there's a matter that goes on here, a domestic matter. So you've got this deeper stuff going on where obviously you're looking for what makes you happy. And in your home environment, not necessarily at home, but it's in your immediate environment. So it could be a work situation, but it's in your daily life. OK, and that is that you are actually going to have to stand up for yourself. You're being asked to speak your truth. And it's always tricky when these things come because not a lot of people like to do this. And you obviously have to consider somebody else's feelings. Now, the cards are saying, as you saw, we had the thing here saying um, stay in integrity. So it's important that you are truthful and that you stay authentic and truthful to yourself. So whatever this is, is the cards really wanted you to know that actually this situation recalls, calls for you to be um, truthful, basically. And it's because you are, you've got this bigger thing going on where you really are looking for happiness and you're fed up with doing it all on your own, if that makes sense to you. So it kind of things that, you know, if you don't find what you want, if this person here at home with this home situation or this work situation, if you speak your mind and then actually it looks as if your your attitude at the end of the month or your, your mindset really, because this is mindset, so it's like um, five is swords, is that actually you're having to let something go in order to move forward. So you speak your truth because you want this happiness and as a result of that you're then going right okay fine I can do this on my own I don't need you I can do this on my own and it's a period of cutting yourself off and, and you kind of isolate yourself because you're like right okay I have got the strength to do this I can do this on my own I've stood up for myself I've said what I wanted to need to do now I don't know what it is obviously but it, it must be important because the cards are bringing it through the thing that I want you to remember is, is you know, when you when you're basically it's not confronting people because that sounds like quite aggressive, but when you are having to speak up for yourself because there's something greater going on here, you need to remember that actually the high priestess came in and said to you, and and shows through this reading that is all is as it should be. So it could be that you've done this, you've managed to sort, you've managed to make this achievement, but actually there's still work to be done in order for you to go forward towards this page of cups. So I hope that made sense. I literally just read the cards. So um, as I said, if it doesn't it doesn't resonate, then, you know, it's a generic reading and also try out your moon and or your rising sun. But in essence, that is your reading for Aries for the month of November. Thank you very much. Bye bye.